Swipe Up, episode 216 of the show where I share my opinions, whether you like them or not. Let's get into it. Starting off with this first story, just something that you would hope that you wouldn't be reading straight out of the futuristic dystopian world that you would see in sci-fi movies like The Terminator. Uh, we have this story. San Francisco will allow police to deploy robots that kill. Uh, supervisors in San Francisco voted Tuesday to give city police the ability to use potentially lethal remote-controlled robots in emergency situations following an emotionally charged debate that reflected division on the politically liberal board over support for law enforcement. Uh, my position politically, for those that are new to this show maybe, uh, but I am very far left. Very far left. I am very much against police uh, in many situations. They don't really do the job that they are there to do. They do not protect. They do not serve in most instances, the police will just avoid doing any work and will take advantage of the historical benefit that's been given to them to literally get away with murdering unarmed men, women, and children on a regular basis, uh, maiming, murdering, abusing, harassing uh, people citizens innocent people right they're supposed to be this idea of innocent until proven guilty in a court of law uh when a police officer shoots you in the back of the head uh there's no court judge jury due process involved uh with a public execution by somebody receiving public funds uh and the fact that this is a liberal board that was having a debate over whether or not robots should be able to kill people really shows why I'm more far left than just a cheerleader for the liberals in general, right? When it comes to Joe Biden, I would way rather have him than Trump, obviously. I would way rather have a piece of shit that came out of my dog's ass than a fascist uh, former reality TV show host that has filed bankruptcy on every business that he has pretended to run. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be a cheerleader for him. I'm not going to be buying Joe, uh, Sleepy Joe merch or anything like that. Be very critical of a lot of things that he's doing, which... He's doing things I do not agree with currently. And uh, that goes for a lot of, you know, a lot of liberal politicians, which are still in the pockets of wealthy people, of corporations. And that is due more to the, the corruption in our system as a whole. The, effect, the fact that, uh, you know, corporations and millionaires and billionaires can effectively purchase... Uh, politicians pay for politicians and uh, to get their way uh, and that's evident in you know politicians that should be for the people uh, allowing robots to kill people shows that they probably don't have a problem with the police killing people as it is uh, because you know if we have robots that you can program not to violate the human rights and unalive people. Uh, if you have the opportunity to avoid that via programming, then uh, you would want that if, if you're against people being killed by police. But if you're fighting to allow police, the only thing this does is eliminates the any potential danger for a police officer, which that is the excuse police officers use. Right. Any time a police officer kills somebody, all they have to say is that they feared for their life. And it doesn't matter why they don't have to have a, a like a credible reason. Right. A person could have a lighter, a phone, candy or just nothing in their hands whatsoever. They could be eating McDonald's in their car in a parking lot 
And all a cop has to say is I felt fear for my life. And that's why I had to execute this citizen in public. And unless that becomes national national news, uh, chances are they'll get away with it. Maybe they'll get unpaid suspension, whatever. But chances are prosecution, cops rarely get uh, rarely have to live by the same laws and rules that every other human has to murder when it's applied to police is accepted in a lot of cases and when you have a story like this where they're saying where politicians are arguing in favor of the police killing citizens has nothing to do with these robots feeling fearing for their lives it is just these politicians want to be able to kill people that they feel like killing or that they the police feel like killing right and i'm sure their arguments are oh but what if the robot what if there's a a, a gun battle right what if there's this this uh battle at the okay corral kind of like f this delusional fantasy of how how tragedies work in real life, confusing that with movies. And what if we deployed robots? Wouldn't we want robots to, like I'm sure they said schools, what if there's a mass shooting, right? We all saw how cops did absolutely nothing for almost an hour, right? Oh, what, like 400 plus uh, armed law enforcement officers in Uvalde, Texas doing nothing for an hour, literally actively keeping people out that want to stop the shooter Right. The, the police officers, the armed police officers keep the people that may try to stop this mass shooter from killing children, actively helping the shooter, keeping them out. Right. That, I'm sure, was one of their arguments like, well, clearly the cops are useless in a lot of situations. Right. So what if we deployed these robots? What if we had robots in school? Right. Wouldn't we want the police officers to have the ability to tell that robot to kill the shooter? OK, in this fictional reality where that situation happens, wouldn't the robot also just be able to. Like stop the shooter and like aren't there other means for a robot who has no fear of death to incapacitate somebody who's going to shoot. Right. And clearly is a sign that they have no desire to fix the underlying problem in which is the access to the tool used to commit such atrocities right clearly that's something that they don't have a, a opinion on trying to regulate or stop in any meaning in meaningful way right we still want they still want gun manufacturers to profit off of making tools that are specifically used to end human life at an effortless ability to end human life, right? So we need to have this, this robots, right? And of course you'd want the robot to, to kill, to take somebody out that's a danger, right? Because we're not going to stop somebody who wants to commit mass shooting, but we want to be able to kill the killer, right? Because that's why people buy guns, because they think, you know, guns don't stop bullets, they just have this idyllic fantasy that they're going to somehow shoot the shooter before the shooter shoots them, right? Or they're going to have this magical combat ability in a, in a matter of splits, moments of seconds. When something goes down, they're just going to turn into John McClane and have no, no problems performing like crazy maneuvers like an action movie to save the world right i don't know it's disgusting the i mean we've seen the the robot dogs strapped with automatic rifles obviously there's the the whole arms expo that happened where they had a rocket launcher strapped to one of those robot dogs 
uh, there's stories that police departments, because they have so much money, right? They're they're overwhelmed with how much money they're given these police departments that they have the resources to invest in robots, right? God forbid we get books for kids or food for hungry people or homes for those that are unhoused or medical attention for those that need medical services, mental health services. God forbid we spend any money to actually help humans in this society that the budgets of these police departments are so flush with cash, overflowing with funding, that they can afford to deploy robots to do the killing for them, right? Because we don't want our police officers to get PTSD from murdering somebody in person, right? For unaliving somebody with their own hands pulling the trigger, Right? We don't want to have to pay for a police officer to have to go to therapy for murdering somebody. So we'll just disconnect them from that murder by having them control a robot instead. Right? We've, we've done trials of that in the military using drones. Like they know, they know what that separation is like. Completely different. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, and that's why I'm far left, because even the liberal board, I mean, if this was a conservative board that was in charge of San Francisco, they would have had robots yesterday. Right. But of course, generally, Republican led cities and states are very horrible with money. They don't really make money. They tend to be on the welfare tip more than anywhere else when it comes to uh, red states and red cities uh, very mismanaged and uh, so the, you know there would never really be a successful city that generates the abundance of money like San Francisco if it were re run by conservatives uh, but if by some stretch like if something crazy happened and just all of a sudden they got elected uh, they elected a bunch of you know, Republican people to they would have been they would have been there already if they had that kind of cash. Like, oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs> like I wanna they would be so excited to be killing homeless people. Right? And it's like you're not it's like no and they don't have to worry about, you know, a robot going to jail. They don't have to worry about a robot, you know, having to get therapy because they murdered somebody. You know, there's probably legal loopholes because it's a robot committing murder where they probably can avoid a lot of lawsuits. You know, all they have to say is oh, it malfunctioned. Sorry. Right. Meaning while now they have to fork over millions of dollars every time a police officer violates somebody's human rights, which they do all the time. You know, just disgusting and just a sign that like tip of the spear. Right. This is the only the beginning. You're going to see this more and more. It'll just be interesting to see how many people die by robots before this becomes a national conversation. And it just shows that, you know, humans are meaningless to the the government, right? They so much of the government is still funded by corporations and millionaires that the majority of humans are worthless to them. We are livestock to them. We are expendable, right? We do not matter to them. We do not have the same worth that a billionaire has because we can't afford to buy off politicians. But then there's, you know, the, the progressive Democrats, right? The Bernie Sanders kind, the the uh, AOC kinds, right? Like there's some, there's a few in there sprinkled that actually want to do good stuff, that want to, that actually fight for people. And they're not perfect either. But like if we're talking about like levels, a gradation of a spectrum of type of politician that goes from like the most fascist to 
the most progressive. I am as far left as possible. Most importantly, shout out to you. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where, where you, you wake, wake up and you realize, realize that everything, everything that you've been dreaming about, about, everything that you've been wanting, about, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.